Good evening guys, this is Mel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we'll be discussing how SketchUp can significantly improve your lighting design workflow in Dialogs Evo. Before starting this video, I would like to share with you all that I received one year free subscription from SketchUp for making the first tutorial on image search feature of 3D Warehouse Labs. If you haven't watched that video yet, please go check that out. I'll provide the link of that tutorial in the description below. I would like to thank SketchUp and Mr. Steve Guzman for appreciating my work and providing me with such an amazing gift. To express my gratitude to SketchUp, I'm making this tutorial and this is going to be beneficial for anyone who is working in Dialogsivo and SketchUp. Let's get started. Firstly, to make most use of SketchUp, we need to understand where exactly we can use SketchUp while working in Dialogs Evo. To understand that, we need to understand lighting designer's workflow in Dialogs Evo. So we can divide the workflow in three major steps. First, 3D modeling. 3D modeling is basically a structural 3D model of a project, be it residential, commercial, retail, facade, landscape, or even bridges. This is the most important and crucial part of any project. Second step is Lux calculations. And finally, we do rendering and documentation. So these are three equally important steps in a designer's workflow in Dialux. Today we'll be focusing only on 3D modeling because it is where we are going to make most use of SketchUp. Now, 3D modeling, no doubt you can make a very nice 3D model of a project in Dialux Evo because it has tools to make your indoor counters, outdoor counters, you can even place your apertures, columns, roofs and it also comes with a built-in library for the furniture objects. But in case you're looking to make a 3D model which, which resembles the 3D visuals received from an interior designer or an architect you need to search that 3d models and thanks to dialogues we can import the 3d models in the dialogues evo say i have constructed the room okay i have constructed this room but i need to make a i need to place furniture in this room as the visualizations i receive or as per your autocad layout i agree that not all projects require the complete detailing or the 3d modeling of furniture import in Dialux. but yes most of your projects you might be placing furnitures in your projects so in case you're working on a project where you have received a uh, 3d visualizations or interior perspectives assume this is the received one then i need to use similar objects here in the dialogs evo so that my final dialogs evo rendering is similar to this one to search this kind of 3d models i can make use of 3d warehouse from sketcher you have free access for 3d models not just 3 models those are good 3d models searching the 3d models here is quite easy like you have to search for the keyword and then you have products models collections and even catalogs i have a detailed video on this topic too now previously searching the similar 3d model of any given object was a bit time consuming because as someone who is not an interior designer or an architect maybe all beds are just beds for me i don't know the major difference between the names of any bed yeah queen size bed king size bed round bed this are okay but you know there is this headboard there is this covered bed not all electrical people or lighting designers knows the exact names of of all the elements used in any interior or exterior space and that's why i loved new feature in the 3d warehouse that is image search feature because previously we used to we used to invest so much of time in searching the 3d models the which resemble the interior perspective i just need to import the image and i have 
and I can easily search for the 3D models from this image search. Now I can import n number of 3D models from SketchUp into Dialux because Dialux has an import option but the condition is that it has to be in .3ds file but thanks to SketchUp I can export the 3D model of SketchUp into .3ds file and use this exported .3ds file in the dialogues evo searching for this 3d models it's important to check for the file size of this 3d models because in dialogues we can't import any heavy files high poly or high mb files because it impacts on the time for the lux calculation and the documentation and also rendering in the dialogues evo so we search for the 3d models which are of low poly and low mb the best thing here in the SketchUp 3D warehouse is that you can adjust the file size you are searching like you can decrease the scale. Okay, I need something I can I need something in just 1 to 10 MB. I can even reduce the scale for the polygons. So this way I am filtering the options for, for my search. Uh, when I say we need low poly, low MB 3D models in the dialogues evo, this is what I am talking about. Th low poly is basically you have less polygons in the 3d models and because of which the file size is less coming to high poly 3d models they are too detailed you, are, you have high number of polygons and it also impacts on the file size of this kind of 3d models now best thing in the sketchup is you can use the skim to reduce the poly size of this high poly 3d models if you decrease the number of polygons then then automatically your file size is going to reduce and the other way of reducing the file size is you can purge the elements if you want to understand in detail how you can reduce the high poly size to low poly size do check out my detailed tutorial on this i'll provide a link of this video in the description below as you know in dialux standard unit is in meters any object you Im you import in the dialux should be in meters in case if, it, if it's not in meters then maybe when you import the 3d model it's going to be very small in size or maybe it's too big file size no doubt sketchup has a solution for this too because easily you can change the units of any 3d models in the sketchup all you have to do is go to window model info and here in the units you have format and all this should be in meters if anything is in inches or feet then you can change that to meters and export it then your file size when you import in the dialogues will be accurate in meters not just 3d model you can even search for the textures in sketchup we'll go for labs check out labs and here see you can search for products models collections catalogs or even materials so let me search for mosaic tile search and here i have different options so this was about searching for the 3d model searching for the textures and using it even if you are a beginner in the sketchup you can easily make some often used 3d models in sketchup very easily i'll be posting tutorials on this topic and i will try to post even the youtube shots so that it's quick and easy to learn and make your own 3d models next very important thing is very importantly in your project if you have some structure then you can find such 3d models easily in sketchup or you can make easily on your own like say for example here i have this mushroom column this is too detailed but i can get this 3d models very easily from 3d warehouse and edit it as per my requirement in sketchup and then make use of it in my dialogues project this is an example of a mushroom column but maybe you have organic shape or maybe a wavy wooden ceiling with too many curved patterns or or maybe you have mushrobia patterns in your facade architecture 
then you can easily find this kind of 3d models too very easily in sketchup till now we discussed only about importing the 3d models from 3d warehouse into the sketchup and what are the different challenges and how we can solve it in the sketchup itself now we can also import a whole project from sketchup into dialogs this is going to save like your complete time invested in 3d modeling in case you receive the 3D model of a project from an architect or a consultant, maybe you are receiving in 3ds Max format, AutoCAD 3D, Revit or maybe SketchUp file directly. There are ways in which you can convert the received files online. You have online sites which you can convert these files, XYZ format of files to .skp files. I prefer .skp files because it's easy to edit in SketchUp make a copy, save it and then export it in the dialogs. Because once the 3D model is exported in the dialogs, Evo, you can't make any changes to the 3D model. But you do can make changes if you have the SketchUp file. If you want to learn in detail how you can import the complete project, complete building in dialogs Evo, do check out this tutorial of mine in the link below provided in description. This is how you can make most use of SketchUp in your first and very major step while working in the Dalux that is 3D modeling stage. I hope this video was helpful. So this is it guys in this video. If you like this video, do hit a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in Dalux with me. Thank you.